All right, guys, we're going to do a quick check in with the Divine Masculine Collective here. Um, you know, the message I keep getting is that your masculines are trying to keep up with you, Divine Feminine. So as you shift and as you grow on the journey, uh, what you become attracted to or what you're attracting into your life, it, it also will shift and it'll also change. And because your Divine Masculine is connected to you, uh, they're also feeling the shifts and changes, okay? And, and they're trying to keep up with your desires romantically they can't help it they find themselves watching you closely um you know they want to know what you're you're wanting or what you're into um but again many of you have really stepped back um and maybe that might be because you're now you're you're not wanting to give clues or hints you just you want your time you want your space and so they're having a really hard time figuring out how to keep up with what it is you want or desire so i'm going to go ahead and get some messages around that uh, what's the major message that the masculines are trying to send through to you, Divine Feminine, as far as like what they're experiencing on the journey right now? Okay, so we have romanticism. That's beautiful that that's coming up again. Can we clarify romanticism even further? Okay, so we have the garden at the top of the world. I feel like they they feel romantic about you at this time because you're in this very beautiful creative energy and it's attractive you're doing your own thing you're taking your own time out to make your next move or figure out what it is you want um maybe the tables have turned in the past you've seen your masculine as the free spirit and now you've turned into the free spirit wondering what your next move is going to be where you're you're headed to next uh, divine feminine because what i'm getting is like there's been a shift in the connection a lot of your divine masculines are wanting you or maybe romanticizing the connection a lot because you've maybe shifted or pulled away somehow um you're moving in a different direction and they want to move in that direction also but i feel like they're like can i keep up like what does she need what does she want okay and that's just uh yeah the overall message that i'm getting so take it how it resonates guys um I'm going to get a message from the Romance Angel Oracle. Because your masculine's thinking about you in a very romantic way, they're probably in their emotions a lot. There's a lot of water in the background here um, in this particular card. And there's the moon too. So many of you may not have this confirmation or this validation just yet. Um, because you're, you're, again, you're off in your own world. You're kind of thinking about doing your own thing. Maybe a lot of you have decided to leave the connection where it is and just leave it up to divine timing and uh, venture off on your own for a little while this is a mature divine feminine as well where um, you maybe have come to the understanding that romantic love and relationships aren't the only part of life that is fulfilling um, so there might be a, a lot of passion a lot of wands energy coming through for you where um, you want to know how to make a difference in the world you want to know how to be more creative how do you express yourself more how do you make people smile? Um, how do you create more joy in the world? Um, again, many of you are just, it says the garden at the top of the world because you want to know how to create this beautiful place, this beautiful sanctuary um, of your own. And, and maybe your masculines have been in this energy, again, this free spirit energy, but right now they're not. Right now they're romanticizing the connection. So let's dig in further to what your divine masculines want you to know, um, especially about what's in their heart space romantically. We have the Romance Angel Oracle deck. I kindly ask for messages from the masculine's heart space that they wish to communicate to the feminine to validate the intuition of the feminine. Okay, what else do your masculines want you to know? Okay, so we have let go of control issues. Okay, so allow the situation to unfold naturally. I feel like you're already doing that, and that's a confirmation. So if there are masculines that are tuned in, and many of you do feel like, yes, like I want my feminine right now, it's driving me insane as to how much I want my feminine right now, but, you know, there's no way I can pick up on, you know, the feminine's energy. Like, I don't know what they're doing like where they're at <laughs> um you know let go of control issues might have a lot to do with what you may be pondering and what i want to say to the divine masculines is that it's it's probably hidden with the moon card here or not the moon card but with the moon in this card 
Um, and I'm sure the moon is probably out in this card as well because we have a lot of stars here. There's clouds. I could tell that it's nighttime. Um, I feel like the Divine Feminine does have you deeply uh, in her heart space. And I'll, and I'll get a card on it as well. Um, but that that may be why let go of control issues is coming up because there's a part of the divine feminine that may be blocking the divine masculine which is why they the masculines can't read you energetically because within this energy of moving forward you know many of you may be really contemplating a future without your counterpart and when you do that you block the energy they can't read you um that well and i feel like they're saying you know let go of control issues don't make a decision in your heart and mind, um, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Again, divine timing. What's in the feminine's heart for the masculine, really and truly? Yeah, we have passion. So whenever passion and romanticism come up at the same time, um, you know, that is the gist of the connection. That is what's gonna keep pulling you both back to that truth keeping an eye on each other watching each other the reason you do that is because you feel passionate about one another you you're in love with one another i mean why else would you want to go digging into someone's life to see how they're doing it's because there's a part of you that feels passionate towards them right they make your heart feel good is is what i'm getting with this card and that's why a lot of your masculines are feeling um you know romantic at this time really in their feelings about you because you probably can't be reached this card is like very like fantasy as well like they may be dreaming about you a lot or even just daydreaming and fantasizing i feel like people are trying to get their attention and they're like huh and and people are constantly snapping them out of like being in this fantasy world with you uh divine feminine it's beautiful um okay what are you both learning from letting go of control issues i know i said it was for the feminine but um i know that message is mirrored as well so it, it could be just mending the connection moving forward um what do you what are you both learning about letting go of control issues okay so we have spirituality it's coming out again i think it came out in the last reading too but remembering the spiritual purpose of the connection Okay, that's how you let go of control issues is realizing that divine timing really and truly is at work. Sometimes it's hard to accept that because, you know, especially for the masculines, right? Because it doesn't seem logical. It's like, oh yeah, let's just leave it up to fate. <laughs> like that makes sense. But I feel like many of the feminines, um, you trust in divine timing. You know, things happening when it's supposed to. You know, and 77 is about, uh, you know, having confidence and having that be... Uh, be magnified you know many of you have been through these cycles already seven is about being seasoned you know it's about being experienced and i what i'm also hearing in my head is uh you know a lot of you a lot of you know who your counterpart is you know you 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 know who they are and you genuinely know that these lessons are meant to you know, help you excel uh, in some way. It could be with the 77 here in spirituality having to do with confidence. You know, after the sevens, we have the eights. So look out for the eights where, you know, you'll get a clear indication about why it is this, you know, you know, maybe coming together again is, to, is wanting to take place. You'll see in time, Divine Feminine, why this alone time is necessary, why many of you are pondering and on your own right now many of you are hermiting it's like you're feeling like cycles are repeating um you know but remember what it's like i guess is is what i'm hearing let's clarify that um you know like i'm hearing like remember remember the cycles and remember what you need to do in terms of spirituality like self-care is a big thing right now and I don't doubt that many of Divine Feminines are focused on self-care. You know, it's like when you experience those patterns, those changes, you jump into self-care right away. You remember what it's like to be in your body, what it's like to appreciate the things around you. You remember to have gratitude for the small things. 
you know, just feeling in tune with yourself again, toning it down, you know, realizing we have everything that we need <laughs> in every given moment. We have everything that we need, you know, and so many of the feminines are, are um, you're grounding. And that could be too, like why your masculines are very drawn uh, to you. It's like they always expect a different type of reaction, maybe for you to go chasing or for you to be a hot mess, but you know, you're not. You just move to this place of being a hermit and you take the lessons as they come and you use it for, for growth, for advancement, which is about the eight. So what's to come? What's to come for the both of you? What's the outcome here? What can you both expect, um, you know, within the next couple of weeks or so? So we have self-discipline. Um, I'm also guided to relationship change as well. Okay, so I'm, I'm feeling like it's tied into spirituality again. Okay, with the self-discipline and the relationship change. A big change is coming in your connection. That's why I was saying like the separation is happening for a reason. There's going to be a change in the relationship and it's maybe about both of you having a little bit more self-discipline. It could be because of these the the passion between you two. It could be because of control issues, conflict in the past, not being able to get along, not being clear on what it is you both want and desire. Maybe having different expectations, different wants and needs. I feel too like the divine feminine is becoming a lot more clear on what it is you want out of out of love, like out of true love, out of passion, out of relationships and. You know, you are being called to let go of control issues in terms of um, maybe being very specific. You know, allow the universe to bring to you what it is you want by focusing more on what it is you want and focusing less on the things that you just get irritated by or that you can't stand or that you, you know, it's like focus more on um, like the like the qualities. I feel like many of you are restructuring what it is you are attracted to and that's why a lot of these divine masculines are trying to keep up a lot of you are are are, are rethinking you know and that has to do with self-discipline as well you know many of the divine feminine collective like you are appreciating where it is you're at in life um and and you're being honest with yourself about you know what it is you ideally appreciate and 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 honor and and want um, and, and commitment and love and true love. Um, and I think that so far on your journey, passion has definitely, you know, it's been one of those things that you can't avoid, you know, that's, that's important to you on this journey, divine feminine. Um, and, and maybe so spirituality, this whole self-discipline, you know, romanticism. I feel like this is a divine feminine saying that, like, I want it all and, and I'm going to have it all. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm getting out of that. All right, guys. Anyways, I don't know who this was for, but uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I love you. Take it easy and I'll catch you in the next one. Okay. All right. Bye, guys.